fuck over here? Yeah, it looks like we got uh, some setup going on on the left. Uh, on the right, we just got like the Tetris setup. You would be right about that. You go from two beautiful commentators that know what they're talking about <laughs> down to us. Yeah. The best Tetris players over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you see, RJ over here trying to make do with a misdrop. Yeah. But Nump is over here. The human calculator waiting for the Tetris to put it, put him over. Yeah. I mean, RJ, you know, just trying to struggle to survive and he's gone. On the ropes, yeah. Nump says, Ooh, yeah. you ain't got no chance, brother. Yeah, game two. Into the second game. Yeah. We got an opener over here that I do not know, but we got a triple double from Numbers. Almost a perfect clear. Oh, Ooh, that is a perfect clear, that actually. That is perfect. I cannot oh, I see. Yeah, now RJ's kind of just struggling again at the top right there with only, you know, four squares. And Numbers is playing with his food. He wants to see what RJ is capable, of, capable yeah. of, but if you do that, you can lose the match. Yeah, I mean, RJ's like clawing it back right now. Like, he's slowly clearing out the trash at the top, you know, getting Tetris's. No, he's surviving. In a game like this, you gotta be fast with your competition. Always looking at your opponent's board, knowing when to strike is always vital. But so, in a anything, like kickboxing, UFA, anything like that. Yeah, you just gotta, like, you know, see where their weak points are and just... And then when, you know, when you see they're, like, building all the way to the top, then you send them, like, like five rows of junk, yeah? Sometimes you also want to use the junk to the advantage to set up a combo. But we know most modern players don't know how to count a lot yeah. of their numbers yeah. with their streaks, since four wide is really frowned upon sometimes. But they have something they call the dark arts, which I would not understand, since yeah. Tetris players, they, they make up the craziest stuff. True, they do make up some crazy stuff. They got some cannons, washing machines, wh whatever, I don't know. I mean, you gotta be a little bit crazy to like, come up with setups in this game, right? You, you gotta be crazy to name the stuff half this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you're part, you're part of the fighting game community, brother. You probably got some crazy names for some Hadoukens and stuff. I mean, we got, I mean, a Smash player, right? We got the Mamma Mia. The Mamma, is that like Super Mario with the cape, with the no, flood? That's, that's a, no, it's a, it's a wake up shore you from Ryu. <laughs> you couldn't even name it after a character yeah, in I, his franchise? Yeah, I don't know, dude. Smash players are weird. But anyway, speaking of Smash players, John Numbers going in with the, was that a, a quadruple T-spin? Quadruple? Nice! So you can tell how many spaces they could, the Tetraminos take up by the height. Only the eyepiece can take up four. Everything else is three. Yes. That, that, is, <laughs> that is a fact. I mean, unlike some special blocks like the Minos over here, the numbers don't crunch. Yeah. <laughs> they really don't. Unlike in the Tetris board game. Ooh, the Tetris yeah. board game, that's a classic. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we got 3-1 RJ now. We're really gonna bring it back after that game one. You know what? He believed in the Easter Bunny over here. He hopped to it. RJ's all for it. Concentrated. Ooh, he's setting up. He's counting. I, I counted four chain over there. Good. Passes, oh, he's set up for a T-spin double. Maybe, oh. I feel like definitely going for the Tetris into a T-spin double right now would be a play. Oh. But clearing the garbage is more of a priority. An easy win, Clug says. Oh, I hate that I know these characters. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And, and now we're on, you know, last game for John Numbers, to, uh, potentially, you know? Yeah, let's see if we can, like, bring it back in a kind of a reverse. Oh, we had a perfect clear, but hey! You never know! We have a Tetris into possibly a T spin d double right there. But RJ has a T spin double into a Tetris to do that. But Numbers, he should be. Even that center board so he can down stack. Yeah, slowly, if he can survive this little... Any trash, oh, but he, he can't. can't. Oh, what an 
Oh, it's just, I don't know what, I think it might be the seven or nine. It's one of those two. Yeah, first uh, to seven. Oh, it's seven. first to seven. Okay, <laughs> my bad. Close to the oh, triple double, but perfect the perfect clear. clear. Numbers got to be on top of that. Sometimes giving a little trash prevents the treasure from showing. Oh, is that? Uh, he's going to go for the ice uh, spin. Oh, and he got it. He got it. And he goes for the counter. But will he stand with RJ going for a Tetris? I don't think he will. Yeah, it's looking rough for John Numbers right now. Numbers got a down stack fast. He got to get to the I. He got to get to the L. Oh, Ooh, he clutched that from the top rope. This is something else, but he yeah. tried, he tried. Yeah, he did try, he did try. He was almost there, almost there. Almost there. Yeah. Six to one. He got a seven to one, that's called a Brazil. Our soccer fans in the chat would know that. The World Cup will never escape that. Sometimes I wonder what the mindset of these players are. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just kind of like look at them and you can see sort of their setups, right? And you can like kind of figure out what they want, like what they're aiming for. But then sometimes, right, you have no idea what, what's happening. Like it looks straight up like Picasso is happening, you know? And Picasso is a beautiful way to describe it with all the colorful pieces and characters that we see in this franchise. I mean, really, it's just abstract art, isn't it? If anything is considered art if you put your mind to it. True. Speaking of art, we got a t multiple Tetrises happening. Tetrises? Yeah. I'm only seeing T-spins. T-spin singles, though. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I think RJ takes it in the bag right here. Yeah. Unless, Unless the impossible happens. Oh, this looks really rough for John. Will he? Oh my goodness gracious, brothers. The numbers oh. are being oh my God. crunched. Like, he filed his taxes. He's getting his return. The comeback, though? All right, let's go. We got, we got one more. We got one more. <laughs> hey, you never know. We could have right. five more, you know? Yeah, yeah. Personally? I mean, that's the numbers in John Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this character plays like pickleball with all this backhand comment. <laughs> Alright, I can't really hear what they're saying. Oh, never mind. It's just you don't gone. need to hear them because they're gone. They're out of here. As we find out, I believe we will be going into when is Salt? semis with Salted and Sa Sagittarius. Sagittarius. We're going to call him Dinosaur.